reasoning why that's so important. But the vast majority of martial arts that I see, specifically Asian martial arts, very much like cults. Um, and, not and not in a healthy way. Is you have to claim your knowledge from a higher source. five-year-old guy that taught you this stuff, you know, it was invincible. Not subject to questioning, okay, you, keep, you know, he's a sacred cow. Fallible, so he always had some guy that you never met that he learned from, and then he can also claim a little false humility, because they'll always say, well, I'm just the conduit. And then religion's the same way. The preachers say, oh, I'm just the conduit for God. But God, or whatever he thinks God said, is not questionable. Okay? But he's just the conduit. So that way you still play on that false humility, but you've got that unquestioning source of knowledge. Then you've got to have some ritual. And the ritual keeps people occupied, so they're not thinking about the fact that they're getting led astray. And it makes everybody get on the same page and do the same kind of thing. In martial arts, you see that all the time with forms and everybody lining up very militaristic training methods keeps people busy, they don't ever realize what they're learning doesn't work. And then the third is just terminology, get everybody speaking the same way, using the same terms. Truth and falsehood, world and whatever. And it's, this, and it's organized religion, cults, and more.